Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Ohio State, Ryan Day, land a fascinating commitment in the 2025 class coming from three-star tight end Brody Lennon from the state of Ohio and kind of a, an intriguing storyline for Brody Lennon, a guy that kind of flying under the radar in the state of Ohio. He camps at Ohio State, I believe, last weekend, two weekends ago. He catches the eyes of the Ohio State coaching staff. They offer him after the camp performance, and less than two weeks later, he ends up committing to Ohio State, and I like this one. I think Brody Lennon, 6'4", 220, really, really good movement skills. For a kid with that frame, runs a 4'5 on the laser in the 40-yard dash and has experience playing on the defensive line. And so you put it together and say, this kid has some serious juice as a pass catcher, right? 6'4", 220, you see it on the film. He's a phenomenal athlete for a tight end. And then secondly, he's a little bit undersized. You take a look at the film on the defensive side of the football. This is a kid that knows how to use his hands, knows how to play at the point of attack. It kind of answers some of the questions you might have in terms of the inline blocking that he's going to be asked to do in this Ohio State offense. And I think this is the coaching staff just kind of trusting their eyes. You know they've seen a lot of Brody Lennon over the last couple of years, whether it's at his games, whether it's at the camps. This kid's been on the radar. He goes to the camp, he balls out, gets an offer, he gets committed. I I like to see programs sometimes not go star chasing, and you see a lot of programs do that. And Ohio State certainly doesn't have a problem landing these top kids according to 24-7 sports and on three, but it's nice to see them you know, trust their gut and go get a guy that they've evaluated a lot in person and say, we think this guy can bring some juice to this Ohio State offense. I like this commitment, excited to get into the film before we do. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys, to the Ohio State fans. It's been no secret. Ohio State is putting together a special class in 2025. We've been breaking down the commitments, the amount of support you guys have continued to show to the fellas. It truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, Let's get into Brody Lennon. Again, 6'4", 220. It's a nice frame. It's an underdeveloped frame. But with the 6'4 frame, you feel pretty good about getting him up to 240 pounds. But what stands out to me is just the raw athleticism that this kid has. It starts with the 4'5'2 and the 40-yard dash, laser time. You turn on the film, you kind of see it. This kid can absolutely roll. You take a look at the production, 32 catches, 750 yards, 11 touchdowns. He's averaging... 23 yards per catch at the tight end position. Then you take a look at the defensive side of the football. This kid has a ton of juice as an edge rusher as well. 95 tackles, 13 sacks, 30 tackles for loss. You see him use his hands really well. You see him be really strong at the point of attack. And one of the bigger question marks we have with a lot of tight end prospects coming from the high school ranks are, what can they do from a physicality standpoint? Can they hold up in line? as run blockers at the tight end position. A lot of these quote unquote tight ends just play wide receiver at the high school rank. You look at Brody Lennon and say he plays a lot of H back. He can get it done in line as a blocker. You feel good about the multi, uh, the multi, the multiple assets, if you will, that he can bring to this Ohio state offense. Is he going to be the number one pass catcher for Ohio state? No, probably not, but he's going to be good at what he does, right? When you have Ohio State's roster, you have the amount of talent that they've stockpiled in the wide receiver room. You don't have to rely on the tight ends to be these dominant pass catchers. You need them to control the middle of the field, operate after the catch, and get it done in line blocking. I think Brody Lennon can do all those things for Ohio State. You get into the film and a really, really fun film study. This is a guy that excels after the catch. Um, You look at how Ohio State wants to use some of these tight ends leaking them out into the flat when you have the amount of time. I mean, that's you you go back and watch it. I mean, like the functional athleticism this kid has, I mean, there's four people are going to tackle him. Hurdles one works through contact. He has that straight line speed that you absolutely love. You look at Brody Lennon, the role that he's going to play when you have the amount of talent that Ohio state does at the wide receiver room. These tight ends are going to have the ability to operate in some space, right? These safeties need to respect what the wide receivers can do on the boundary. So whether it's working the seam, whether it's working in the flat, you can get the football to these tight ends, let them operate after the catch. And I think that's what 
Brody Lennon is probably best asset is. You see him get slipped out into the screen and say, I mean, he's so fluid after the catch, working through contact. You see the four or fives. I mean, this kid can absolutely burn. He kind of moves like a wide receiver at 6'4", 220. There's a lot of intrigue to me with Brody Lennon. You take a look at him as an edge rush. You talk about knowing how to use your hands, knowing how to be strong at the point of attack. I mean, this is an extremely impressive edge rush rep from Brody Lennon. You're getting a premier athlete in Brody Lennon. A lot of different ways you can get him involved, leaking him out into the flat letting him operate after the catch. Again, just a different set of movement skills. A lot of these tight ends, a little bit stiff in space, not Brody Lennon. You go back and see one, he's just an animal when you're trying to tackle him. But two, like making people miss in a phone booth and then just being extremely physical and hard to bring down. You talk about a culture kind of guy, that's Brody Lennon. Again, really good edge rusher reps too. Knows how to use his hands, knows how to be strong at the point of attack, which is going to translate into some of that inline blocking that he's going to be asked to do at the collegiate level. Elite with the football in his hands. It very rarely do you see offenses run through the tight end. This high school offense is running through Brody Lennon. I mean, just, we're going to get the football to you at any points we can and let you operate. Love this rep. You talk about we don't see this from tight ends anymore. We just see glorified wide receivers lined up as a little bit of an H back here, working the edge, sealing the edge, then getting up to the second level, picking up the second level defender. This is a kid that's willing to run block and has the traits to be a good run blocker. I think that's what's most exciting for Ohio State. This is a guy that can get it done as an inline blocker, can control the middle of the field, obviously works through contact exceptionally well, has some burners to finish the play. I I like this. I mean, they're trusting the evaluation of Brody Lennon. And I think that's what stands out to me. And you take a look at Ohio State. It's the number one class in the country. It's obviously headlined by some of these top 10, top 100, top 250 national prospects. But you scroll down to the list and you're seeing Ohio State say, hey, we're we're good with in terms of the, the blue chip talent that we're bringing in. They've had a couple of guys on campus over the last couple of weeks. A guy like Miller, who again was offered right on the spot for Ohio State. A guy like Jay Cook, who they've had a lot of evaluation with. Didn't offer him right off the bat, but ended up offering him a little bit later on in the process. A lot of these kids from Ohio, these three stars, Ohio State has seen a lot of. They've camped with Ohio State. They've had guys watch them in person Friday nights. You kind of trust the evaluation of some of these guys, these three stars in state. And again, from a culture standpoint, you want these guys that have grown up just knowing what it means to play for Ohio State. They love it. That's certainly going to help the culture. I really like this take for Ohio State. Commitments is going to fly under the radar. Especially when you're Ohio State, you have the number one class in the country. I really do like this take for Ohio State. We'll cut it there. Appreciate you guys rocking with it again. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to y'all later.